If you ever airdropped a file, copied something on one Apple device and pasted it on another, or picked up an email on your Mac that you started on your phone, you've already had a taste of the Apple ecosystem. But that's just scratching the surface. Let me show you how deep this connection can really get. For the longest time, I didn't really think about how seamlessly my Apple devices work together. I've been using an iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods for years, and while I noticed that the occasional convenience was there, it wasn't until I added a MacBook Pro and an iPad mini that I truly started to explore what the Apple system is capable of. I started noticing all these little moments where everything just clicked. I'd be looking at something on my iPhone, then open my MacBook and pick up right where I left off. I'd copy text on my iPad and paste it on my Mac, or scan a document with my iPhone that instantly appeared in the file I was working on. These devices weren't just compatible, they were collaborating. Now, I won't be going over every single feature Apple's ever built into its ecosystem, but instead, I want to show you the ones that actually matter to me, the ones I use almost daily and that genuinely make my workflow smoother. Whether you've already deep in the Apple world or just starting to connect a few devices, let's stick around as you might learn something new. With that said, let's dive in. Once I had both a Mac and an iPad in my setup, I assume I'd use them separately. Mac for the heavy lifting, iPad for on-the-go tasks. But then I discovered universal control and it completely changed how I use them together. With universal control, you can use a single keyboard and mouse or trackpad to control your Mac and iPad as if they were part of the same screen setup. No plugging in, no pairing it every time, just move your cursor to the edge of your Mac's display and it glides effortlessly onto your iPad. It really does feel like magic. I use this constantly when working on videos or planning scripts. I'll keep notes or references open on the iPad while editing or writing in the Mac. I can move the mouse between devices, click, drag, and best of all, I can copy and paste text or even files between them with zero fuss. It turns two separate devices into one seamless modular workspace. And despite how advanced it sounds, it's incredibly smooth. No lag, no syncing issues, it just works. To enable it, head to the system settings, displays, advanced on your Mac, and make sure you allow pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad. Once you're on your iPad, you can go to Settings, General, AirPlay and Handoff, and make sure cursor and keyboard are enabled. And speaking of seamless movement between devices, let's take that concept even further with Universal Clipboard. Universal Clipboard is one of those quiet Apple features that sounds simple until you start using it and wonder how you ever worked without it. It lets you copy anything from text, images, even entire documents on one device and instantly paste them onto another. No airdrop, no emails, no transferring files. Just copy on your iPhone or iPad, then paste it on your Mac, or the other way around. I use this constantly. If I find a quote while browsing on my iPhone, I just copy it, switch to my Mac, and paste it straight into the notes or a script draft. Same with images. If I've saved something on my iPad, I can copy and drop it into a design I'm working on in Canva on my Mac, all without missing a beat. And here's a fun little gesture tip. On iPhone or iPad, you can use a three-finger pinch to copy, and a three finger spread to paste. It takes a minute to get used to, but once you do, it may be something you use quite often. Sidecar takes things a step further by turning your iPad into a fully functional second display for your Mac. No wires, no external monitors, just instant extra screen space wherever you are. You can either mirror your Mac screen or extend it, which is perfect when you need a bit more breathing room while multitasking. I use this setup a lot when I'm traveling, especially in hotel rooms or coffee shops. And if you have a larger iPad, then of course, this extra screen real estate makes it even more useful. Setup is simple. Just go to system settings, display on your Mac, and you should see the iPad on the list of available displays. As long as both devices are nearby, signed in with the same Apple ID, and have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, you should be good to go. Sidecar is one of those quiet power features that really turns your iPad into a productivity booster whether you're on the go, working in a small space, or just trying to keep your Mac desktop clutter-free. And if you thought that was clever, wait until you see how your iPhone can step in as a wireless scanner with Continuity Camera. Continuity Camera lets you use your iPhone as a document scanner or camera that sends images directly to your Mac. Here's how I use it all the time. When I need to scan documents into a note, like receipts, handwritten notes, or forms, I just click on the attachment icon at the top on my Mac and choose Scan Document under the iPhone section. I also see the same options for my iPad, so I can use either of my devices to do this. 
From there, my iPhone camera automatically opens, I line up the paper, scan it, tap save, and just like that, the scan document appears right in the note, perfectly formatted and ready to go. Continuity camera is a great example of what Apple does best, which is turning a small everyday task into something effortless and elegant without ever interrupting your workflow. Okay, this one isn't technically a feature of the Apple ecosystem, but I'd be lying if I didn't mention it. AirPods Pro are hands down one of my favorite Apple devices. They might not connect your devices in a way that iCloud or Universal Control does, but they respond to them brilliantly. Start a video on your iPad, the AirPods switch automatically. Get a call on your iPhone while editing on your Mac, they seamlessly jump to your phone without you lifting a finger. I use my AirPods Pro every single day, so even though they're not an ecosystem feature in the traditional sense, they've absolutely earned their spot in my daily Apple setup. So there you have it, just a few of the ways Apple's ecosystem doesn't just connect your devices, but actually helps them work together in ways that make life and work a little smoother. It's not about the specs or the brand loyalty, it's about flow, the feeling when everything just clicks. And once you experience it, it's hard to go back. If this video gave you a new idea or helped you discover a feature, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I've got more deep dives on Apple tools, creative workflows, and productivity tips coming your way. And I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite Apple ecosystem feature? Drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.